Hello again. Um, this time uh, I'll be doing the mission where I will be taking three Kerbals into space, into an orbit around um, the planet Kerbin, and um, it'll be a circular orbit. And during that time, I'm going to have them go around once, and um, during that time, they'll do some EVA. So they'll get out of the little um, command module and do some flying around with their uh, little um, thruster packs and um, just test out a few things and um, then go back inside the pod um, just in time to complete the full revolution and land in the sea near enough to um, the KSC uh, launch center um, so hopefully this time it'll work well you'll notice that this is the third um, one of these um, Kerbal Escape and Orbit um, ships I've done because the first two had some design flaws um, so that's a, that's just one of the kind of features of the game you know you can just you can fly it up and then you realize there's mistakes you go back to the drawing board and change a few things and um, this is an incredibly powerful rocket it has way more um, fuel than it actually needs to uh, complete the orbit um, it's pretty much this central tank is it's got uh, like three full tanks by the time I'm actually able to detach it. Um, so the only reason I have so much extra fuel is because I want to try out all the features. I want to try a decent sized rocket and make sure I have enough that I can comfortably return uh, where I want to. Um, just one last thing I want to do is add in some RCS um, thrusters just to help out with the uh, rotation of this uh, craft. Okay. And that should be good to go. So I'll go and launch now. Um, this is the third one and it worked so I guess I'll have to rename that for um, I did a full test of this one before this video just to make sure it works and not to record a, a load of feckin' crap that ends with a horrible, untimely death of um, three prized Kerbinauts. So, here we are. We have um, Werwin, Chadvi, and Ludfry Kerman. And I am um, oh, nice and fancy on these new towers here. I, I really like these. Um, so I guess we're ready to go. Let me just make sure the stack is alright. So we've got the middle rocket firing off. We've got our three solid rocket boosters firing off. We've got our three outer um, fuel tanks that are going to fire off as well. We've got our three towers making sure they're going to let go of us. They don't have to just sit here on the spot. Um, Okay, and then these are the three solid rocket booster. Um, yep, and so we'll go up for a bit. We'll detach these solid rocket boosters, and then we'll when they run out of fuel. And then when these run out of fuel, we'll detach them. Luckily enough, it's quite handy. Um, I uh, I usually start tilting over around 50, 15 uh, thousand meters um, to start kind of get the angle for the orbit. Um, and luckily enough, that's pretty much around the same time that these fuel tanks empty so if I forget and I see these run out of fuel I can know it's time to start tilting over um, and that everything else looks fine parachutes up there I have three parachutes on the top because I find that the newer bigger one isn't very strong at all um, so if I had just a, one of the new parachutes up on top of this it would pretty much be guaranteed to break under the weight of the RCS fuel the SAS and the command module so I think three of the older smaller kind of parachutes are actually pretty good in this situation so without further ado
those ran out pretty much exactly when I wanted to start tilting over. My RCS will help me out here as I tilt over towards the uh, 90 degree mark. I generally tilt over till I'm about 70 on this little thing here. Wait a minute, I'll just turn around to the correct heading. So yeah, I usually tilt it around to about 70 and that seems to be fine. Um, I'll turn off my RCS, I don't use it all. Um, and that seems fine and it gives me a kind of a nice bit of a starter angle um, as you can see oh actually the name has been wiped out for some reason but um, I'll uh, I'll make this an orbit around in and around 100,000 meters so probably a little more than that but um, I'll keep burning until this apoapsis reaches about 110 maybe maybe 105 and then I'll cut out the engines so we're getting pretty high now. Werwin has realised he's already taken off, and oh, we've overshot it a bit, but it doesn't really matter. I can make it whatever height I like because I have so much fuel. So now, while I'm waiting to reach my apoapsis, I'm going to go ahead and tilt over, turn off my SAS, and turn on my RCS thrusters, and start tilting over sideways. coming up to about 90,000 meters so we still have time and I actually I'm gonna just put it a little bit below the uh, 90 degree mark just because as we turn around the uh, surface of Kerbin the uh, this will start reaching back to 90 again anyway so I'll speed up time a little bit now while we go right up towards our apoapsis I want to. You want to stay ahead of your apoapsis when you're going for your orbit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up the thrusters now. Oh, I'm actually behind it now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's see, that should compensate enough. I'd, I'm not worried um, about making the orbit. I think I have so much fuel. I mean, I have, I have two full tanks here. I can't remember if I had more or less last time. I think I had more than that. Maybe I should be worried. I think we'll be okay. I think last time I must have done a much more efficient fuel flight. Um, oh, we'll have fuel left anyway, I'd say. Hope. tank of this stack. Actually our last tank altogether. I hope I'm gonna have enough to uh, deorbit myself. Oh oh there we go. Well that was stupid. Um well it's not circular because I overshot completely on that side. But at least I know I'll have yeah I'll have enough fuel to deorbit myself. So while this is happening now I might as well go ahead and do some EVA. So we took off from here, and now this is our current position, and we're in an orbit. And while we're going around, I'm going to do some EVA activity, you know, and try it all out. Thing is, it'll probably only be about here that I'll travel while doing EVA, and then afterwards I'll just speed up time to know it gets around here-ish, I suppose, maybe there. And I'll completely neutralize my speed almost, and then fall down into the sea roughly around where this untitled spacecraft has splashed down, which was my previous flight that's name got cleared. So I guess since um, we want to keep where I went awake, we might as well send him on EVA now. So here he is on the side and he's just going to crawl down the ladder a little bit and let go. He's looking pretty indifferent as he is prone to do. Um, Alright, now we have our EVA pack activated, hitting R, 
and I guess we can do some um, little uh, role playing of checking out to make sure that this uh, ship is capable of uh, returning safely. Um, you can hit L to turn on these little lights on his head and we'll just check out the engine and everyone check out what that looks like from his point of view I suppose. and neutralize our speed a little bit. Okay, he's pretty much still now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out another guy. come along and say hello I do not want him to bump into him because that would probably send him off into space and I don't know if I'd have enough time to try and compensate for that the lighting looks really good so I'll pretend this guy is um, going to check our easy expert on uh, our uh, lander pod and everything like that and he checks out everything here and he checks it's okay one guy inside he he's he's busy with the controls in there and unfortunately he won't get to go on EVA today um, because it'll be too boring for Chad V so I'm gonna go ahead and try and grab onto this ladder there we go Grabs on the ladder, lights off, board again, and go back to our other guy here. He's drifted down a little bit. I didn't match the speed exactly, it'd be pretty tough. pretty well controlled um, reattachment there and let's see so we want an EVA there is quite nice we've yeah we've only traveled to about here so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time to make us do the full kind of surf circumnavigation of the uh, planet and as we come back down I'll decelerate I'm not sure exactly where is the right place to do that probably probably want to write about over the uh, left edge of this land here I'm not sure let's see yeah I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down around now I think that'll be the best time so down there is where the KSC is the uh, Kerbal Space Center so I'm just gonna use the RCS and a little bit of power to uh, help me turn around to a retrograde burn or burn opposite to the direction of travel um, okay I, I'm, I might end up right out really far out in the sea I don't know yet um, we'll see how that goes so I'm now burning backwards, which is slowing me down, causing my orbit to just to cause me to deorbit completely. And um, as you can see, I've already deorbited myself. Hopefully, now I'll be able to bring it down to a point where I can land in this general area, so that I can be near enough to um, the launch pad. How much fuel do I have left? About a third of a tank of fuel left, about a quarter maybe. 
and it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and stop burning about there because I feel like I'm, the air is probably gonna slow me down even more once I get to a certain point and it's gonna come in a bit anyway and I don't know if this command module will withstand the landing over the actual surface, the actual land rather than in the water. So we can actually see it's right down there. I think that's actually the actual the um, space center there. So those little blips of light there, one or two pixels. So I'll go ahead and speed up time a little bit as we come down. Yep, that's that's where it is. And I'm probably yeah I'm, I'm on a decent enough trajectory here. Uh, not too far away that a boat could come out and collect the guys and bring them back in. Um, I'm just going to hope that this um, command uh, module can withstand this and that these parachutes will uh, be able to hold all of this section here because the other one certainly couldn't. Okay, it looks like the air is turning it around. Despite the SAS being on setting me, the air has just overpowered it completely now. The air resistance is just pointing it the other way around. And um, I'm going to go ahead and detach um, this module in a minute. Maybe now might be the best time. Alright, that was pretty violent. I have no idea why we're, uh, why we're falling a lot quicker than the other one. Maybe it's got much more air resistance or something, I have no idea. But, um... At the thousand meter mark, I think we'll be pretty close, and we'll be slow then, because we're, the air is slowing us down the entire time we're falling here, um, and slowing that down a lot less, obviously, or slowing it down a lot more. Um, okay, I think very soon, three parachutes deployed, and oh, thank God for that. Okay, or thank somebody for that. I don't know, and. Um, Maybe COD, if it's Kerbal equivalent, I don't know. Ooh, microphone slipped. Um, the rocket has just landed down there. And we're not too far away from the uh, Space Center. That's, this is exactly, that's the uh, debris from our little our rocket launch, the, um, the little clamps that held us in. And it looks like we have survived um, the first proper orbit around Kerbin with some EVA activity as well. Um, I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Gonna land now. And safely down. Okay, let's turn the thing up there. They don't want to wait around inside because they're, they're too. Um, far too uh, impatient, you know. Um, uh, let's get the other guys out as well for the crack. Swimming. I like the little swim animations and that sort of thing. Oop. I have no idea how if the uh, you can't turn on the EVA pack in the water, so you can't speed them back to land or anything like that. But, yep, yeah, so they're safely back. And um, it looks like uh, next time I'm thinking um, the next step that might be something that happens in a real space station might be the launching of a satellite. So I think I'll probably have a, a one-man crew that will just go up and launch a satellite into um, orbit around um, the planet. Um, I don't want to be too ambitious. I don't want to say geostationary orbit, where it stays over the same position of the land as it rotates around the surface um, as the planet spins. Um, but I no, I, I won't say I'll do that because I might be too lazy. Um, but I think launching a satellite would be the nice, nice kind of next video to do. So um, thanks for watching, and that's it.